Now the first step is to skip Paradox Launcher. Now for this, you can make a right click on the game, select Manage, click on Browse Local Files, and then open Deadlines 2 folder, Binaries, Win64, and select the path. Copy this path, and you can paste it anywhere. And then put one backward slash over here, and then you have to Copy the name of the game exe file. This is the game exe file. Make a right click, rename, and then you can copy this name. And then after backward slash, you can paste it over here without any space. And then you have to type in dot exe over here. And then you have to put this quotation. Put this exact quotation because the quotation from my keyboard is not working. So you can use this quotation only and this is provided in the video description so at the beginning and at the very end you can just put this question mark uh, sorry quotation once you put this quotation now give one space only one space and then it's percentage command percentage so now you copy this complete path and then go to steam make a right click on the game go to properties in the launch option you can put this path and then you can launch the game this will launch the game without paradox launcher straight away it will launch the game and then you can check this is provided in the video description now the next step is to run the game from the game installation folder so when you launch the game from steam if it's not working and then you can go to the let me close the game for now you can make a right click the Steam uh, game, manage, browse local files, and then make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check. If that does not work, open Bloodlines 2, binaries, Win64, make a double click, launch the game from here, and then check. If that does not work, make a right click, go to properties, and then go to this tab, put a check on the box which says run this program as an administrator over here, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game, and then you can check. Still not working, go to properties, go to this tab, Put a check over here. We'll select Windows 8, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. If that does not work, you can even try Windows 7 over here, hit apply, click on OK, launch the game. And still not working, put a check on disable full screen optimization, hit apply, click on OK, make a double click, launch the game, and then check. Now, when you put a check on all these boxes, still not working. In that case, you can uncheck these boxes. You can keep run as administrator if, if you want, or you can uncheck it. And then go back. You can use the first exe file make a right click and then click on run as administrator and then you can check now the next step is to install visual c file for this you can open this link in a browser it will take you to my microsoft website the link is provided in the video description you can scroll down here you can see x86 and x64 you have to install both the files so click on x86 or and x64 if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install download this x64 file as well and run this exe file again if you see the repair option click on repair if you see the install button hit install click on yes and let the installation complete once done restart your computer restart is a must after this and after the system restart launch the game next step is to rename the config folder when you rename the config folder all the saved settings will be lost to rename the config folder you can open file explorer and then go to this pc open c drive users folder your username folder now open app data if you don't see app data at the top click on view select show put a check on hidden items and then open app data folder open the local folder and then find bloodlines 2 folder and open this folder steam folder saved config so you can rename this config folder in my case i have already renamed it so there are two so you can just rename this config folder once you rename it, relaunch the game and then check. Still not working. The next step is to allow the game exe file to antivirus program. If you are using Windows security, open Windows settings, go to uh, privacy and security and then click on Windows security and then click on virus and threat protection. Scroll down at the bottom, you will see manage ransomware protection. Click on it. Click on allow an app through control folder access. Click on yes to allow and then click on add an allowed app browser apps and then go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select this exe file click on open and then again add an allowed app browser apps open this folder 
binary is win64 select this exe file and then click on open now type in control panel in windows search box and then click on control panel system and security windows defender firewall allow an app or feature through windows defender firewall change settings allow another app click on browse go to the game installation folder and then open the game folder select the game exe file click on open click on add in my case i have already added again allow another app click on browse open this bloodlines 2 binaries win64 select this exe file click on open click on add in my case the game is already added once the game is added now you can launch the game and then check still not working uh, if you have any third party antivirus like avast not on bit defender mcafee whichever antivirus program you have allow both the exe file to your antivirus program next is to perform a perform a clean installation of your graphics card driver so if you have amd card go to amd website if you have nvidia card go to nvidia website select your graphic card from the list make sure that you select your graphic card your operating system and then click on find and on this page you will see the latest graphic card driver whichever is the latest geforce game ready driver click on view and then click on download and once the download is complete you can run this exe file when you run this exe file uh, click on yes to allow and then click on ok click on agree and continue select custom option over here and then click on next put a check on the box which says perform a clean installation and then click on next and once it is done restart you can be restarted you must after this after the system restart launch the game still not working the next step is to run the game on dedicated graphic card now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box click on graphic settings click on add desktop app and then go to the game installation folder select the game exe file click on add once the game is added click on the game over here and select high performance over here and then again add desktop app open this bloodlines 2 binaries win64 select this exe file click on add scroll down find the game in the list once you find the game click on the game over here and then select high performance and then relaunch the game and then check next step is to disable integrated graphic card so if your computer has a dual graphic card make a right click on the start menu go to device manager expand display adapter over here if you have this inbuilt graphic card in my case it's intel make a right click and then click on disable device and then relaunch the game and then check and once you are done playing the game make a right click and you will see enable device after you are done playing the game you can enable the device next step is to verify the game file do not ignore this step make a right click on the game select properties go to install files tab and then click on verify integrative game files once the verification is 100 percent complete launch the game and then check next step is to enable or disable the steam overlay now for this you can go to steam make a right click on the game select properties if the option enable the steam overlay while in game if this is off turn it on uh, turn it off and then relaunch the game if it is already off then you can turn it on so try both on and off and then check next step is to close all the other overlay application like if you have discord running go to discord settings turn off overlay if you have nvidia app running go to nvidia app over uh, nvidia app and turn off nvidia overlay also close all if you have any other overlay application close it do not overclock set it to default close all the overclocking application like if you have msi afterburner revert unit close it close all third party application so make sure only the stream and the game is running the rest close everything including your browsers and all the application from here now the next step is to use intel driver and support assistant now for this you can go to intel website and you can download this on your computer download it scan it will scan your computer if there is any update it will uh, show up update all in or download all and then install all. once the installation here you can see you will see download all then you will see install all so you can click on install all once done you have to restart your computer and then you can check still not working the next step is to try power saver mode now for this you can type in control panel in windows search box go to control panel go to hardware and sound and then go to power options and over here uh, you will see power saver so if you see power saver like this select power saver relaunch the game and then check you can even go for balanced or high performance but first of all try power saver and then relaunch the game still not working the next step is to enable or disable hardware accelerated gpu scheduling now for this type in graphic settings in windows search box and then click on graphic settings and then click on 
add desktop app over here. Uh, sorry, click on advanced graphics settings over here. And if hardware accelerated GPU scaling, if this is off, turn it on and then relaunch the game. You might have to restart the computer once. And if this is already on, you can turn it off and then relaunch the game and then check. Still not working, lower down monitor refresh rate. Suppose this is just an example. If your monitor refresh rate, refresh rate is 240 Hz, you can try 120 or maybe 60 Hz. Next step is to increase the virtual memory. To increase the virtual memory, type in view advanced system settings in window search box and then click on view advanced system settings over here. And then under advanced, click on settings, the first setting and then click on advanced tab and then click on change over here. You have to uncheck the box and then you have to select the drive where the game is installed. Make sure that you select the drive where the game is installed and then select custom size. And we, for initial size is 1.5 multiplied total RAM for maximum is 3 multiplied total RAM. So you can check total RAM in Windows settings, go to system and then go to about option. And over here you can see in my case it's 16 gigabytes. So you have to calculate as per your RAM. And if you face any problem, we can always revert back to the settings. So do not worry about it. So for in my case it's 16 gigabyte multiplied 1024. That is total total RAM in megabyte for initial size it's 1.5 multiplied 1.5 that is 24576 for maximum size it's total RAM that is 16 multiplied 1024 in my case 16384 me megabyte then three times multiplied three that is for maximum size it's 49152 in my case and then you have to click on set set is important make sure that you hit set and then click on ok and then ok ok now relaunch the game and then check if that does not work then type in view advanced system settings again and then click on view advanced system settings go to settings over here click on change uh, advanced tab and then click on change and then select system manage size this time and then click on set set is important click on ok click on ok over here hit apply Click on OK. OK. You will see restart option. Restart your computer and then check. Still not working. We will revert to default. So you can type in view advanced system settings once again. Settings, advanced, change, and put a check on this box and then hit apply. Click on OK. Follow the next step. Now still not, not working. The next step is to update Windows to the latest version. So for this, you can open Windows settings. Go to Windows Update or Update and Security and then click on Check for Update. Once all the updates are installed over here, restart your computer and after the system restart, you can check. Still not working. The next step is to, you can skip this step if you're not able to launch the game. If you're able to launch the game, try Window Mode and lower down video settings. Now, once you launch the game, you can go to Settings and then go to Video over here. Uh, you can try Window Mode and if uh, the resolution is set to 4K, uh, you can try maybe 1920 into 1080p. You can even lower down more. And uh, the frame rate limit, if this is set to unlimited, uh, maybe you can try 120. You can set it to 120 or you can even go for 60. I will set it to 60. Scroll down. In, in my case, NVIDIA Reflex low latency is already off. NVIDIA DLSS is already off. So if you're using on, uh, you can disable this frame generation. This is uh, causing crash for many players. So you can turn off frame generation. Uh, you can even uh, try FSR. In my case, I will just uh, turn it off. Now, if the uh, quality preset, now if this is set to like ultra, you can set it to high. You can even go for medium and then apply the changes. And then you can check. Now, the next step is to update the BIOS. So go to your system manufacturer website and then select your model number and then make sure that you select your computer and then update the BIOS. In case of laptop, make sure battery is more than 10% and the AC adapter is connected to the computer when you update the system BIOS. Now the next step is to unplug all the external devices. So if you have HOTAs, wheel, pedals, any kind of USB adapter connected, disconnected, 
disconnect extra controller connected to the computer disconnect external keyboard and mouse and like this this type of keyboard like if you have key crone or a razor hand span keyboard you can disconnect it and then relaunch the game and then check if you have undervolted you can better remove the undervolt and then check the last step is to uninstall and reinstall the game to different drives so if nothing is working you can uninstall the game after you uninstall the game try to install the game to c drive so if the game is installed to d drive or e drive try to install the game to c drive and then check if the game is already installed to c drive try installing the game to another ssd and then check so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to run this game successfully on your windows computer so that'll be all thank you so much for your time and please like this video and subscribe to my channel